the Russian skier won the World Cup for the first time in 21 years. No one will catch up with Nepriev. Natalia was banned from racing. But it did not help the rivals in any way. Russian skiers for 21 years could not win the Big Crystal Globe, which is awarded to the winner of the overall World Cup standings. And so it happened. Natalia Neprieva won the trophy despite the ban on the Russian team from racing. The season is not over yet, but no one can catch up with Neprieva. Diggins gave up. Anderson couldn't take it anymore after the International Ski Federation announced the final cancellation of the World Cup final, which was originally supposed to be held in Tumen. The classic 30km marathon in Holmenkothlen became the key in terms of fighting for the trophy. 100 points for a win, 60 points for bonus cuts, you could win back a solid handicap. But on the evening before the marathon, one of Neprieva's pursuers, American Jessica Diggins, withdrew from the race. In fact, she voluntarily gave up the fight for victory in the overall standings. But the Swede Ebba Anderson, who also had chances for first place, went to the start. But without the slightest chance of winning. Because Teresa Johaug, who ran the last World Cup race of her career, set a furious pace from the start. And everyone is always waiting for this, but every time in such races Teresa outwardly, without the slightest effort, leaves her pursuers exactly when she herself wants it. The Norwegian ran away from everyone after 5 kilometers and led her own race, while Anderson kept in the general group for some time. But quickly fell off. Well, I finally gave up all my chances after I changed skis, rolled back to ninth place and never rose higher. The second place in the marathon was taken by Finland's Krista Palmakoski, and the third by the Swedish sprinter Jana Sunderling, who climbed into the top three for such a long distance for the first time. She deserved, for two personal races before the end of the season, Natalia Neprieva's lead in the overall standings is 241 points, and it is no longer possible to win back this gap. The Russian skier won the overall World Cup for the first time since 2001, when Yulia Chepalova took the trophy. This is a fantastic achievement. In the course of the season, Natalia won two races in the Tour de Ski, the race itself, which became the key in the fight for the overall standings, climbed the podium twice more. And also won a beautiful victory in the relay race in Lillehammer as part of the national team. In addition, she collected a full set of awards at the Beijing Olympics. But Olympic races do not count towards the World Cup. However, this does not negate the outstanding performance of Natalia at the 2022 Games and throughout the season. Which began unsuccessfully for her. She was criticized by both Elena Vialbi and Yuri Borodavko. It doesn't matter to me what flag Neprieva stands under, I consider her as a person. She deserved to become the winner of the overall standings, said the world champion Canadian Devon Kershaw before the marathon. How amazing. There were two long waits. It's always nice to win a globe. When you are in such an expectation, it is very difficult at first. We let go of the situation, Yuri Borodavko, Neprieva's coach, shared his emotions. The Lord ordered that Natasha win and win the long-awaited trophy. She went to this for a long time and deserved her victories. Indeed, she deserved it. And this is a very cool end to the international season for Neprieva. Now the word is for fizz. Big Crystal Globe should be in Russia. That's all for today. If the information was interesting to you, put likes, subscribe to the channel, and see you soon.